Greetings folks, it's maiden time for the little reptile dragon Talon. I had the uh, 2200 3S LiPo in there, balancing it up nicely uh, with uh, an FR Sky 40 amp um, current sensor, adding another 20-30 grams. Uh, all up flying weight at the moment is about 630 grams, so reasonably heavy, but um, there's no wind, rain stopped. The uh, ground is nice and soft, so if uh, I crash it, it's not going to do too much damage, I don't think. But anyway, let's throw it and see what happens. I'll also put the little uh, run cam thumb on there at some stage to get some onboard footage. No FPV or flight control board on there at the moment. LEDs aren't going to show up very well uh, in this light, so I won't bother about them. They're definitely a, a late evening or a night flying experience. Okay, we are ready to go. Nice and quiet. Decent throw, I think. Doesn't feel too heavy at the moment, but anyway, we'll see. Nice. How quiet is it? And smooth. I've got it a bit nose heavy at the moment. Hey, that looks very nice. That was a tip stall, because I was going too slow. There you go. Just as I expected. Um, that's on 3S. Does seem a little bit mild. But, I'm sure it'll be okay. Let's try again. A little bit more speed. And uh, continue on. Let's go again with a bit more Zero speed. Amps. Zero amps. Three or four amps. Three four amps. Feels like it needs a little bit more speed than that, but it's going well. It's, oh, it's wiggling a bit there. Two point six amps. I need to still needs a bit of trim. Now we're good. Well, I think it needs four S because I'm using over half throttle and it feels a little bit slow so let me trim it a bit more there we go so it likes to fly fast at least 3 amps but that's pretty good on 3S keep the speed up Andrew Really feels like it needs 4S, I have to say. I do have a 4S battery, I'll put it in. I was going to try 2S, but uh, I'm going to have to go full throttle on 3S. Flying nicely now. It's cool, it's very quiet. So 4 amps, 4 or 5 amps on 3S would be about the right cruise, I think. There we're going well. Very nice. So quiet, ridiculously quiet. Nice and stable. Yeah, I think ideally it'll be a fast fast to fly but not ridiculous it's pretty quick but look it is beautifully quiet those props and it's not going ridiculously fast but that uh, feels good yeah there we go we did a loop and it uh, lost it. Interesting. So, I think it's a little bit prone to stalling. Uh, catching you by surprise, which is not a good thing. That was trying to do a loop. I was going downwind and the windows picked up a bit. So the uh, 
probably the wing speed, the air speed over the wing might have been down a bit. Interesting. Oh well, it's fun working these things out. Anyway, let's try 4S. See if that feels better. It's handling the, the uh, unplanned landings quite well. It's spread apart a little bit there. That's the battery going in uh, to the nose, I think. Maybe this is why there aren't many other <laughs> flight reviews. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, I have a uh, 4S1P Lion Pack. Balance again, that's pretty good. Let's see what the LEDs do. LEDs still work. Uh, so, they do seem a bit bright, are they? So, hmm, who knows? Who knows what those little solder bridge pads were for? Okay, let's see how we go on Forest. That feels much better. Feels what it's designed to be flown on. Two or three amps. So that'll be a nice long flight time. Downwind, hooting along. Beautifully quiet. So I like the way it flies, I like the way it sounds, but I'm a bit wary about uh, doing aerobatics or flying slow, just not designed for that. I think the uh, wing loading is such that it does need to fly fast. Just above half throttle there on 4S. Maybe uh, some higher KV motors or larger props would be appropriate. Give it a bit more power, a bit more grunt. All right, well, let's do a bit of onboard anyway. Cut the throttle there, glide it in. Interesting.
Okay, here we go. Trying some aerobatics. See if we can stall it again. I'm launching with a decent throw just to make sure it doesn't stall out of my hand. Well, that's okay. Quick roll. Flying slow. Does get a bit wallowy. Slow turn here. No, that's okay. Oi, that yeah, that let go there. Oop, there we go. Slow turns. It's gonna drop a wing. Now I'm doing a bit of damage to the, to the nose. But that is my role, I guess. Final little flight. I'll try a loop bravely. More speed. Yeah, it's okay. Nice big slow loop and it does it okay. Do have to keep the speeds up speed up in the turns. Flies beautifully if you do that. A bit more wing area and it it um it uh, it would be well behaved in all aspects of flight, I think. It's a little bit heavy for the wing area. It does need 4S, I think. Definitely needs 4S. Roll. Nice roll. All right. Well. That's a very good test. I have <laughs> tested it to its limit. Its limit being slow flight, slow corners. Doesn't like it. As a fast little flyer though, it's, it's very nice. Very nice indeed. Sweet. Very interesting. There you go. So that's it for the Reptile Dragon Talon. Um, my opinion, not their best plane. Uh, you have to fly it fast. Um, it has to be flown on 4S and uh, can't handle slow turns. It will drop a wing. I do like it otherwise. Uh, it has some nice features and flies very nicely uh, at the right speed. It does have a high wing loading. Maybe it would be better with a longer nose uh, so that you could put um, a smaller 4S battery further forward. Uh, who knows? That's the way they've designed it and uh, there we go. That'll do for now. Thanks for watching.